Hi folks, thanks for coming. Um, my name is Andrew Lee and I'm CEO of Lightgrow. I'd like to talk to you today about these. The world loves bananas. There's 120 million tonnes of bananas grown annually each year. The problem is, a lot of them get thrown away. There's 30 million tonnes go into landfill and this causes environmental problems and it means also that there's a large proportion of bananas grown that farmers are not paid for because they're unfit for sale. We aim to change this problem. We aim to turn this waste into valuable products. What we make is backlight, which is essentially a water-based banana smoothie with some clever filtering applied at the back end. We've got granted patents to protect our process and our product. And we want agreement with Fife, who are Europe's largest banana importer, to use their waste for production. Backlight acts like steroids for microbes. You can grow them quicker, you can grow more of them, they grow better, and what this results in is more microbes and more productivity. This gives you increased yield and it also shortens process times. As you'll see from these photographs here, this is a plate, an agar plate, with 1% supplementation of our backlight product. And you can see from these photos that we can grow bacteria quicker, we can grow an awful lot more of them. So imagine applying those effects to the huge industries that rely on microbes. Now we've got data for some of these industries already, which shows that we can supercharge their processes. Our initial markets are the R&D market, the distilling market and biofuels. For the R&D market, we can grow cultures quicker and we can get quicker diagnostics as well. For distilling, our products improve the efficiency of alcohol fermentations, increasing the yield of alcohol by over 20%. And this means that distillers can make in five runs what they normally make in six. For the biofuel sector, we're focusing on anaerobic digestion, which is essentially taking organic waste and turning that into methane gas. We've shown that we can shorten the process time and we can get a remarkable 50% increase in the methane produced. So for distilling and biofuels, what this means is that companies can essentially save resources, but they can also reduce their water and energy footprints as well. We've had great traction to date. We've got a licensee, Merck, for the R&D market. Merck are the largest supplier of research reagents worldwide. We've had seven trials of our distilling product by UK distilleries, each of them showing increased yield and shorter process times. And we're also we're discussing further trials with Diageo, the global giant. Uh, for the AD side of things, which is a little bit earlier stage, we're already talking to potential international partners in Europe, Indonesia and the Caribbean. So our plan, we now want to raise around 350k to act as working capital before we then raise £5 million next year to build our first fully circular production plant. We've got plans to make product from our waste as well as banana waste. We're hoping to have this plant operational by Q1 2024 and this will act as a blueprint for international partner-built plants across the globe. So the blueprint is key to our rapid scaling strategy. And we want, to spread, we want to scale widely as well as rapidly. And we're focusing on banana growing countries because they've got an awful lot of waste. But coincidentally, and what's handy for us, they've also got, a lot of them have large distilling industries. So we're very ambitious. We hope to have, through partnerships and our own build, we hope to have 10 plants operational by the end of 2026 and over 50 plants by the end of 2028. Our business model is to sell directly into the R&D and distilling market. We're hoping to have two of our own plants, which will sell this, our product into these markets, and this will provide revenues of £56 million a year by the end of year three. In terms of the biofuels sector, we're going to out-license production in return for a royalty for each litre of product made. And we anticipate, uh, or we're hoping for eight plants operational by the end of year three, which will provide us with £20 million of royalty income. So, 
if we can achieve what we set out to do and have 50 plants by, the, by 2028, the impact is going to be huge. It's not just financial impact either. Revenues will be just shy of 400 million a year. We'll have massive environmental and social impact because we'll be diverting 35,000 tonnes of waste bananas from landfill. This, this effectively diverts... Oh, sorry. This effectively reduces carbon dioxide emissions by just under half a million tonnes a year. In terms of social impact, we'll be creating jobs at the sites of our factories, and, this, and farmers will also be getting paid for their waste. So we've got a small team at the moment. We've grown in a very lean manner. Admittedly, we're a bit middle-aged, but... <laughs> With that comes experience, and we've, we've got the skill set to drive things forwards, but we realise that we now need to grow. And it's not just growing internally. What we want to find is investors and partners that share our vision and our ethos and can help us change the world with banana smoothies. Thank you. Yeah, and I hope, I hope to answer any questions about bananas afterwards. So, All right, thank you. Cheers.